Good afternoon, internet. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a super exciting day. I wanna share something with you. Today we're at BMW Motorrad of Southeastern Michigan, and I'm with my son Colton. What's and up? He is picking up his brand new R1300GS purchased on Saturday for him. I ordered it, and uh, it's a trophy virgin. 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 <laughs> virgin. And we're gonna go pick that up right now. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Colton? Oh, I'm excited. All right. I can hardly contain myself. And then later on, we're gonna go ride mine and his, and we're gonna go tooling around. So, all right. Let's go pick it up, Colton. Yep. All right, walking back, see if the bike is here. It's right there, look at that. Woo! Man, that is pretty. Look at that. And I think they take the turn signals on this one. Yeah. They moved it in here because it's a uh, enduro version. Right? Yep, they did. They yeah. took the turn signals off. Yeah. They're usually like, depending on which one are in the either that or that. I gotta get on it. I gotta get on this bike. Oh. Yeah. Sitting on it. First time I ever sat on a 1300. Wow. It's so nice. It's sleek. Look at, your, look at the key fob right here. Look at that. They even make this aerodynamic to match the tank. This is so nice. Colton, you might not be getting it. I might be getting it. You might be getting my hand-me-down. This is my very first BMW bike right here. It's actually mine. My cousin was driving it. He brought it in here to get fixed. So, shocking. My very first BMW off-road GS bike is sitting right in the same shop as my brand new one right here. That's, that's amazing. All right, we got Jeff here. Yep. Jeff just doing? met Colton. Yeah. <laughs> it's a happy day, right? <laughs> so, is this the bike? Oh yeah. Oh, this yeah. is the bike, Colton. It's out in front. Look at this. Wow. That's your bike, Colton. That's going to Alaska in a few months. Wow, that blue is such a beautiful color. <laughs> it is beautiful, isn't it? It's so pretty. Honestly, it's gonna look better when we get it in the sun. Right now, it's not doing all the justice that it could. Yeah. Look at that. You got the trophy version that has the auxiliary, auxiliary lights. lights. Yeah, there we yeah. go. They're auxiliary lights. You got the crash bars on there, which you'll never need. <laughs> yeah. What's nice about this also is with uh, the version that is on here, they took out the um, turn signals that were in here, okay. and they put them into here. Yeah. So if you notice, like this bike over here has them, has them built in here. So, yeah, this is, uh, you got the new, look at this, this is a different type of exhaust. Ooh, so if you look at, fiber? yeah, it is. Bigger pegs. See, it's compared to this. And then you have the bigger pegs here. Yeah, that rubber insert actually will come out, so if you want to stand on them with, uh, like, wet boots, that'll actually come right out of there. Oh. Yeah. And, and then, right and then this, this goes up. Yeah, if you pull it, it's spring-loaded, so pull it, there you go. Yeah. So you can have higher ride height if you're off-roading. They do shorty levers on it, which are beautiful. They feel so good. That particular bike, they don't look any different, but they're shorty, so it's nice. Isn't that cool, Colton? And then, this has an adaptive ride height, and then you have, look at this, this is a, it's like a texture to it. You know, it's not hard plastic. I thought this was going to be hard plastic. It's not. This has the... Um, not for your phone. Your phone will actually fit in there. And look at the, and you know what's cool about the key? It looks like a gas tank. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks like the shape of this. Yeah. It's... It does. I, that was planned that way. I guarantee it. <laughs> it definitely was. And it has the uh, high seat, comfort seat in it, which is good because you have a much taller inseam than me. Yeah. Wow. It's awesome. It's awesome. Get on it. Guess so. <laughs> But your knees are even bending on it. What do you think of that, Colton? It feels so, like, much bigger than the moped I run to class. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's so awesome looking. That blue is sharp. It is, yeah. Wow. But you want to learn how to use some features? Yeah, I do, actually. I do kind of want to learn. Or not. So, power button. Right there, that turns everything on. Your start button is still holding this one down. Turn on here. <clears throat> so home screen, one mile on the bike, right? I'm gonna correct your date, your clock before you take off. Track control, ABS light will always blink until you take off. That's just a system check with anything with those features. On the right side, you have your obviously power button, start button, kill switch, then your modes. So they show four presets all the time. You so you know what that is? One off. Like it's just like the go. Like mode when you're when you're yeah, when you're off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you'll find yourself cruising down dirt roads using enduro mode. It works very, very well. Um, counter to that, rain mode. When you get caught in bad, bad weather, it's going to add traction control sensitivity. It slows down the throttle curve, so it won't ever break loose or get squirrely in bad weather. Eco mode is the one that most people turn off right away, unless you're conscious to what your fuel mileage is. Right, bikes they do better than most, anyways. Um, SOS button is something new that's going to integrate with your phone. So should you have a, a bad instance, uh, just like similar to OnStar or something like that, you can have an emergency button to get a hold of someone. That's cool. Um, cruise control. The bike does have adaptive radar cruise control now. So like a lot of vehicles, right, it'll actually pace how far something is in front of you. It'll speed up, slow down based on where you're set and what's in front. Um, bright lights on the back. It's just a flash to pass button. Um, this is going to, uh, once we pick a favorite, this is our favorites menu. This is going to allow that to change, whatever that might be. Turn signals, horn, so on. So pressing that, right now it's set on uh, ride height, which is cool. So we can see how that works. You can actually adjust the ride height. We'll start the bike first. And yeah. also on here, you have, you can move the windshield down oh, if you want to automatically. Yeah. So it's oh, you at a different height. So no, yeah, you unscrew and put it in, and then even if it goes up, it's not as high. Yeah, yeah, and a shorter shield, good for hot weather, right? When you're going through certain places and you want more air, that's a big deal. Or counter with it when it starts raining. Trash control, damping, those are going to be some other features, of course, your heated stuff, that's going to be a good one to use if you get into um, colder temps. Right now I can uh, actually change the heated grips, heated seat, you know, just based on pressing the buttons oh, now. So I once see. you set whatever favorite you want to utilize for the day or that moment, that's how that works. The menu screen, they've adapted the sport uh, screen to it, which is awesome. You'll definitely like that when you go places that have some twisties. They used to be on the double R for a long time, but now it's on the GSs too, so it'll tell you how much lean angle you're doing. Right, if you're in some really nice curvy roads, it'll tell you how far if you're getting on the brake hard, or if you're rolling on acceleration hard, it'll tell you traction controllability, all that stuff. Definitely a cool feature now to see, just a different way to look at the tachometer. And then, of course, once you pair up your phone, headset, you'll get media navigation, everything through the dash. Mm -hmm. 
super awesome. It's sweet. And so how many of these have you sold, Jeff? Uh, this is going to be the third, uh, forgive me, first delivery, second bike, yeah. First so. delivery yeah. in Michigan, Colton. Yeah. Yeah. First delivery in Michigan. Yeah. Uh, Woo! <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I have another one that's waiting to get picked up, but technically not done. So, yeah. so how many, in first trophy too? Yeah, first trophy. First yeah, trophy, yeah. look at that. Wow, it is awesome looking. When I sat on it on Saturday, I was thinking maybe I'll just keep this. <laughs> you can have yours, mine. <laughs> right around the class with this. Yeah, I, know, I was thinking about that. Would right? you let me ride that to class? Probably right. not. Class? Sure. Yeah, no, probably not to class. Just because, like, I'd have to get a parking permit for it. Right. They, instead of, like, a scooter well, or moped, they yeah. don't have to. Yeah. yeah, moped you can ride right through the door. Basically. Hello, Raina. Giving you an official license plate. Hello. You can legally ride it. You got a license plate, Colton. Let's see what your license plate number is. Just your yeah. tag one for now. All right. You'll be good to legally ride it. Set that stuff so it's powered on. They're on. Yeah, man, the bike is absolutely awesome. The, the dual exhaust, that's a new thing that I did. I personally did that to my older bike, something very similar because BMW had never done it. Um, the crash bar, they integrate this shield now. That was something a lot of people would add to other bikes. Uh, just so gravel, whatever might happen, get in there when you do knock the bike over. Now it won't. Um, the trophy comes with radiator guards, so that's already set up on the bike. You won't need to do anything there or add anything additional. They do subtle touches, right? They BMW brand the brakes, but they're actually still Brembo's. So you can still see them behind. They put the Brembo badge on the inside, but it's a new partnership or a continued partnership. The um, turn signals are gonna act as daytime driving lights or driving lights also. They'll be orange on all the time. And then when you flash or turn signal, they'll, they'll uh, cycle, of course. But that's uh, neat on the newer bikes, like your 1250. It's awesome. I can't wait to hear about your travels. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's it. That's now we get to go to Alaska, Alaska. Colton, yeah. in like a, two months, not even. As soon as I'm out of school, I guess. What's that? As soon as I'm out of school. As soon as you're out of school. That's right. All right. It's common that when people are standing, right, your foot yep. is hitting there. So now just, just that little bit it. of detail, right? You can get it out of the way when you don't want to use it. You're that's using for the center it. stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that like actually is it up flat. Is sure. it easier to lift this bike now? Because the other bikes are really hard. No, I mean, it's still shame. very similar. They haven't really changed that. It's still heavy. No, wait, isn't there something that like locks it in and it's easier to lift it? Well, so the adaptive ride height, when you go to actually use the center stand, I mean, this is going to be the first demonstration of this. First demonstration? Yeah, listen to it. Like here, it does it's that. It, and yeah. now you're at the point where... Yeah. That's a lot yeah. easier. That is a lot easier. So yeah. the adaptive ride height ones, they get that motor. Everything else is very similar to what um, has already been out. But yeah, right, just demonstrating that right there. So that's a new one. So that's a new feature. So it like extends out? Yeah, because the adaptive ride height lowers the bike. So you need that extra little bit just to get it back on the center stand, where if it was still sitting low, it would be almost impossible. Yeah. Or just a lot more difficult. did some cool detail with the seat here so I don't think you'll use it a ton but the ability so if you feel like you want a backrest this will creep in about an inch or huh. you got heated seat <clears throat> yeah shit if, if the passenger in the back got yep. heated seats <laughs> yeah, your girlfriend could be back there <laughs> uh, wow oh, yeah. that's beautiful that's beautiful the levers are neat. I was like blown away because they talk about that in the trophy, but when you see them, it doesn't look like much different. But if you grab the other one, grab this one, they're significantly different. Just uh, forged aluminum. And then they're nice, like dirt bike levers rather than something big. Uh, yeah. Blind spots in the mirror, blind spot indicators. It has yeah. front end collision warning like a car now. So are you rolling down the expressway and someone gets over on you the bike will actually react based on how close they might be and slow the bike down on its own if you're not paying attention but generally speaking that's going to be like a, a oh crap moment you're not going to use it all the time but when it does help it'll be a big deal so cole and i have a plan i get to ride it part way right to start off so i'll put the first like 20 miles on it you know and then you get to take it off take the 
ride for the rest of its life. It's right? Stop it's I have to test it out, Colton. Could, could you the bike I gotta make sure BMW did a good job on the bike. And then you get to take over. Video. So Jeff, you can actually take this down? Yeah, you know, they have threaded holes now, so you can take it down one position and it's about one inch lower. So just oh. eliminate some of the knee bend. Um, so if you, have tall, if you have a tall inseam, like a 34 inch inseam, yeah. like Colton has a 34 inch inseam. Or even standing, that inch yeah. lower center of gravity when you're standing on the pegs will make a difference, so. Wow. Yeah. Like your, yeah, your like yeah, this is super, super clean. Oh, yeah, it looks a lot different. You see the back of the engine where this is all compact, cleaned up. Yeah. It's super clean. Because if you look at the other GS, you see, if, if you see the frame, you can't see the really the frame, even though I guess this is the frame. Warranty. So you'll be able to get picked up if there's ever trouble, anything at all. The owner's manual itself. So it'll take the time, go through that even when you're sitting at home, and then. The spare key is this plastic key. We've always referred to it as a wallet key. Something you can stash on, you carry with you. Um, anything that requires a blade. To Alaska, you'll at least have to wear this, at least for a day. Yeah, we're gonna wear that when we get to Alaska, when we get to Prudhoe Bay. Let everybody Colton, know, when we get yeah. to Prudhoe Bay, we're gonna get, we're gonna put <laughs> those bikes. Michigan. Yeah. I know the other one I mentioned for you, Robert, it just matches, it's the 100 year anniversary. So it's not the same bike, but your bike is a 2023, so it is All right. the anniversary edition. Well, thanks, so, Jeff, that's yeah. awesome. So I mentioned removing the rear foot pegs. That's what this would be for. So this is just the exhaust hanger because the peg integrates into the exhaust hanger on the other side. So if he does want to remove that, you can still put this on and hang the exhaust without it. Okay. Being flimsy, so to speak. And the last bit is the trophies come with handlebar risers. So never put them on at the time. Um, they're stackable, that's how this works. So if you wanted to raise it, say that much on each side, you could, or you could put one in each side, so on. So I told him, always worth riding the bike, seeing where the ergonomics rest, where your hands rest, right? If you're standing a lot, these can be popular, but now they're coming with the trophy, so. That's awesome. And then this is the bolts if you change that stuff out, so. Yeah, a lot of people love risers. I particularly don't have any on my GS, but uh, just the nature, I'm a little shorter, my uh, arms aren't as long, that sort of thing, and I'm used to bending my legs more than standing straight up. Sweet. That is all yours, yeah. Look at that, Colton. All right. Now it's time to go ride it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah. Oh, for you, yeah. Well, I get the first 20 miles. He called I get the break in 20 miles, and then you get the rest. All right? Is that okay? Yeah. All right, he agreed to it. I have to make sure that the bike is okay, you know, my son, right? <laughs> you gotta test it. I, like I do have it's to like test food. it. You gotta make sure it's not poisonous. Exactly, right? I have to, it's like food, exactly. I have to make sure the food isn't poisonous. You know, I gotta try the bike out first, right? Just a short little trip. You have to do it between 450 and then 750 miles. So um, beyond that, BMW won't cover it, and before that, they won't cover it. And then if it goes more than six months, they're not gonna cover it as part of the purchase. So that's one thing to keep in mind, right? Get close to 500, 600 miles, make the appointment, bring it in over here, and then they take care of that for you. Yep. So you gotta put 500 miles on it in the next month. Will okay. that be hard to do? Maybe, probably not, <laughs> hopefully. A couple uh, short days, yeah, not much. <laughs> Well, if we have weather like this, it's yeah, fast. it's like this every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so yeah, it's still a six month period too. So you'll still get it on before you guys head out. But that's the way to treat it. Yeah. Blue is amazing in the sun, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I hope you will. <laughs> I hope it works well for you first. <laughs> yeah, I will. It feels so much different. It feels like you're you're higher on the ground. It's like you're you're sitting up higher.
ride it, man. I just got done riding 21 miles. I got 21 miles on it, and I did. I put it just a second. I just now set the time. I'll shut this off. And it rode phenomenally. Really nice. Super excited. Cool. You want glass sunglasses for that? I'm sure. Okay. Okay, sunglasses. What it looks like. Start it up. Colton, how was your first ride? Fun. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. What'd you learn about the bike? How to shift it, really. I've yeah. never really seen or shifted before without, uh, with like a gauge. Okay. I mean, how many RPMs, and it makes it so much easier to shift. Thing was like, it was like, I, I've never like seen the shifter and like the RPM at the same time. And it's like actually like so much easier to shift when you like can look at like how much RPM you're putting off and like, where you're at, like I don't know, like, you can just shift so much smoother when you like know where you're at in the chain and the signal. Yeah. It so is it much. comfortable? Like it is, but it's not. I think we need to move the pegs down one notch. Oh, it is, so my, but it's my not. left knee was starting to hurt super bad. I even like sat up on this for like a second just to. You're no this. We can put that. Put, yeah, I know. Put this down like one one hole, like on both sides, because this my left knee was starting to hurt. Okay. That's like that. But like it was it was really nice other than that. So what we did is we moved these down one hole. You can't really tell because we moved it down, but the other hole is right here. So we moved the foot pegs down. I can pull this out. Maybe you can see better on this side. So this foot peg, there's a hole right here. And we moved it down to the hole down there at the bottom. Can't really tell. Maybe you can if you go like that. Okay. A couple other things to note on the bike is the shift lever and the brake lever are both the clutch lever. I should say the clutch lever and the brake lever can be adjusted right here. So you have full out, you click it in once, it comes in a little closer, and you click it in another time, and the, it comes in a little closer. So you can set it on both the brake and clutch. To turn on your auxiliary lights, on the 1250, there used to be a button right here to turn it on. On the 1300, in order to turn on your auxiliary lights that look down like this, what you need to do is you need to get into the menu you go to settings and on settings you go to vehicle settings and you go to lights and then this is additional headlight your additional headlight is your auxiliary lights when this check mark is checked it means they are on i i i wish it said on here but it says off in order to shut it off you click it this way and now it's off they won't come on but i didn't we had to figure out how to do that as well so uh comfort turn indicator you know that's one of the things that they have shift lights uh configuration so you can do start 5000 rpms and 9500 brightness these are different things that you can do uh riding mode pre-selection there's a whole bunch of different things that you have inside here that you can actually pre-select so that when you hit the mode, one of those modes will pop up. And then uh, you also have in here your assist settings. In your assist settings, your suspension, so you can have dampening configuration. So if you're road, dynamic, or enduro, you can also get into your cruise control so in your cruise control here, you can have dynamic or comfortable. I don't know what either of those mean, but I'll figure out how to do that. Or he will, my son will actually tell me. Front collision warning. You can do it early, medium, late, or off. And then it has a warning pulse or, and braking assist. Once again, I wish it would say on once you have it, but someone smarter than I 
created this. So, uh, but uh, those are the last things really for the bike to share with you today. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you on the next video.